everyone, my name is Katie and welcome to this video for the 11 plus verbal reasoning. And in this video I'm going to give you some practice questions and some top tips re regarding your verbal reasoning section of the 11 plus exam. Now in primary school when children are about to leave their final year, which is year 6, they may opt to take the 11 plus. This test is given to pupils who want to attend a grammar secondary school. Some teachers may encourage pupils to take the test just to give them the opportunity of attending a grammar school if they wish to choose this option. Generally, most pupils will be at the age of 10 when they take this assessment and this test can contain up to four disciplines including maths, English, verbal reasoning and non-verbal reasoning. But in this video in particular, I'm only going to focus on the verbal reasoning of the 11+. plus. Now make sure that you do check out my other 11 plus exam videos because these will cover the other three disciplines including maths, English and non-verbal reasoning. And before I move on to the practice questions, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, it is free and you will be kept up to date with more of my upcoming education videos. Okay, so let's move on to some 11 plus exam tips. So when preparing for the 11 plus assessment, allow for plenty of study breaks. Now even if they're only 5 or 10 minutes long, okay, this will really help to refresh the memory and keep the child calm and focused. Now bear in mind that a child's attention rate is usually between 30 to 50 minutes, okay? So don't try and push for any longer than this because your child will simply stop engaging in the revision topic being assessed, okay? Active revision is a great way to stay interactive with the topic, so revision games and mock tests are great exam techniques to use to prepare for the 11+. plus. Stick a piece of paper up on the fridge highlighting all of the areas you wish to cover. Visual aids are another great way to take in lots of information, so my maps, spider diagrams, flashcards, posters can all be used in preparation for the 11+. plus. Now practice a, a variety of difficulty levels, so if you're undergoing practice questions and finding them relatively easy, why not practice more difficult questions? So this will allow you to boost confidence and enhance your skills. Remember to brush up on your vocabulary, so these types of tests are designed to assess your English and vocabulary skills, therefore you need to be able to demonstrate a strong level of ability regarding words, phrases and meanings. Practice as many different types of verbal reasoning questions as you can. So within this video, I'll provide you with several different question types in order to increase your understanding and enhance your performance. And finally, don't forget to check out our free online psychometric testing and sample questions. Make sure that you're fully prepared for your English assessment. Okay, so here is practice question one. So a word is, is hidden amongst the sentence. It has four letters and is hidden in one word and at the beginning of the next word. What is the hidden word? So here is the sentence. Okay, so this is asking you to understand how to join two words together in order to make another word and it's hidden. So it's all about your visual and attention to detail. And as you can see, the first word for and the second word the has the hidden word of fought. Okay. So this is a relatively easy question, but it can be quite tricky if you're unable to visualise what's going on in the sentence. So the more practice questions you try out these, the easier the hidden questions will become. So remember how to work it out. This requires attention to detail. This type of question does not require any knowledge or technical ability, apart from the ability to visualise hidden words amongst other words, Okay, just like I said. So practice question two. So in the line below, the word outside of the brackets will only go with three of the words inside the brackets to make longer words. Which one word will it not go with? So here we have the word an and your four choices of words. And you're picking out the word that it does not go with, okay? So let's work through each of these. So let's put an with the word tartic so this would make antarctic so that is a word so you know it's not going to be that answer an aerobic an ability and droid so you can tell that the correct answer for this is c because an ability 
is not a word. Instead, this would be inability. So read the word outside the bracket with each of the words inside the bracket and see if it makes a word. And if it doesn't, then you know that that's going to be your answer. Practice question three. So fill in the missing words so that the sentence reads correctly. So blank going to be in big trouble when they get home. So then we've got option A, option B, option C, and option D. And they all sound very similar, but they're spelt very differently, and they do mean different things. So check the word spelling and context. Remember, it's going to determine whether or not you have the correct answer because the answers are very similar. Does it fit in with the sentence? So read the sentence out loud and see if it makes sense. And eliminate the words that you know to be incorrect. Okay, so let's start with the answer option A. So we have T-H-A-I-R. Well, this is not actually a word, so you can eliminate this answer automatically. Then we have there, there, and they are. And remember, this is a contracted word for they are. So they're going to be in big trouble when they get home. So you know that, in fact, this is going to be answer D because it's talking about they are going to be in big trouble when they get home. And answer B, you know, is not going to be right because that's talking about a particular place. And answer option C is not right because that's talking about someone in that particular so it's there is in possession okay so you know it's not going to be that one practice question four so four of the five sentences have the same meaning which one sentence has a different meaning so a it was a little girl who was pushed over by the tall boy b the tall boy pushed over a little girl c the little girl pushed over the boy d the little girl fell over as a result of being pushed by the tall boy and E, the tall boy got into trouble for pushing over the little girl. And you can tell that the answer is C because you're working out which one has a different meaning. And A, B, D and E are all referring to the girl being pushed by the boy. But in answer option C, you know that the girl is be the girl has pushed over a boy. Okay, So this has the opposite meaning. So this is in fact your answer. Practice question 5. So which of the following is the odd one out? So we've got A, harmonica, B, violin, C, harp, D, guitar. Now you know that all of these words are linked because they're all musical instruments. Is there a connection between some of the words? And find the word that does not quite fit in with the rest of the words. So in actual fact, A is the odd one out. And we know this because answer option B, C and D are played by using your hands with strings. Whereas a harmonica is used just simply by playing with your mouth. So this is in fact the odd one out. Practice question six. So which letter is missing from the following words? So we have phi and then uh, the missing letter which begins the next word and plea and then we have the missing letter which begins the next word of something and eight. So we've got the letters D, L, S and Y. So just work through each letter and see if it can be added to make a complete word. So let's see if answer uh, A works. So let's use D. So we've got f f feed, dare, plead, and date. So all of those work, but let's just double check that the other ones are actually incorrect. So we've got f fill, lair, which doesn't really make sense, pleal, and late. So these two don't work with that letter there. Then we've got fees, ser, which again, it doesn't really make sense. Please, which would be spelled incorrectly because it would be an E on the end as well. And Sate. So you know that that's not going to be right. And then free, so that doesn't work. Yeah, again, that doesn't work. Plea, again, doesn't work. And Yate. So you know that the actual answer is A, which is the letter D. Practice question seven. So choose one letter that can be moved from the word on the left to the word on the right making two new words. So we've got the word drink and the word free. So which letter can be moved from the first word to the second word in order to make two new words? So we can tell this is simply trial and error. So you need to determine which letter can be taken out of the first word and placed into the second word in order to create two new words. And in actual fact, the letter is D because if you take the D from the first word, you are left with rink. And if you move the D onto the word free, you get freed, which again is a new word. 
Practice question eight. So in each question there are two pairs of words. Only one of the answers will go equally well with both these pairs. So we've got dog and woof in the first pair and tree and wood in the second pair. And the answer options are animal, bark, sycamore or tail. So you need to find a word that can be used to signify both brackets of words. And what, what we mean by signify is how these words are closely rela related or how another word could be used to imply the same thing. So we've got dog, woof, tree and wood. So we know that answer option A cannot be applied to the second brackets. So we know we can eliminate this answer. Dog, woof, bark. Well, yes, that does make sense. Tree and wood. Well, trees are made of bark and bark is a type of wood. So in actual fact, the answer is B. And again, you can just simply rule these out by seeing if they work with both sets of brackets. So towel obviously doesn't work with this one and sycamore obviously doesn't work with this one. So your answer is B. Practice question nine. So find the letters that best completes the series. The alphabet has been provided to assist you. So here's the alphabet for you. And we've got a lettered sequence, okay? So we've got D, Y, E, X, F, W, G, V, H, U. And then you're working out what the answer comes next. So work out how the letters are progressing in the sequence. So as you can see, the first letters in each uh, word, as I might say, is going up in the alphabet one space each time. So it's got D, E, F, G, H. So you know the next one's going to start with I. So you can automatically eliminate B, B and um, E. And then let's see how the second group of letters are going. And we can see that they're working one step backwards. So we go Y, X, W, B, U, so the next one would be T. So you know that the first part would be I and the second letter is T. So your answer is A. Again, it's quite tricky, these ones. So let's have another go at this type of question. So this one, we've got M, N, L, O, K, P, J, Q, I, R. And you're finding out the next one that comes in the sequence. So here are your answer options. And again, work out how the letters are progressing in the sequence. Eliminate the answers you know to be incorrect. So the first letter from M to L, K, J, I. So we've got M, L, K, J, I. So you know the next letter is going to start with H. So again, you can rule out A and B. And then we have N, O, P, Q, R. And so the next one would be S. So your answer is C, H, S. So these are quite easy once you get the hang of things, but... Have a good practice with these types of questions and it will really help you to understand different types of sequences and understand verbal ability a bit more in detail. So that completes it for this video in particular and I hope that you found some of these practice questions and top tips useful and that you can impl um, apply them to your 11 plus assessment. For more practice questions, please visit the link below this video and if you do have any questions regarding the 11 plus please drop me a message below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because you will be kept up to date with more of my 11 plus videos I'd like to thank you for watching and I hope this has helped and I wish you all the best of luck in your 11 plus assessment